thoughts on the sweep? Oh, it feels awesome. I'm really happy for our guys. I thought, uh, obviously, tonight reminded me a lot of last Saturday against them where there wasn't a lot of room. Uh, either team had a ton of shots, but, uh, you know, our special teams came through big time and, uh, you know, to get a couple shorthanders at a power play, and our killers did a great job, uh, certainly in the third period and throughout the weekend. I thought Osterberg's always been one of your better penalty killers, mm -hmm. especially with how hard mm -hmm. he four checks. Mm -hmm. on the kill. Nice to see him get rewarded with that shorty. Yeah, it was great. You know, I certainly to be the first goal of the game, you know, again, uh, got us a little momentum and, you know, we still had 40 some seconds to kill. So I was trying to remind guys of that, but, uh, you know, great for him. Um, you always like to see guys get rewarded when they do the right things. And um, I, I thought our killers did a great job tonight. What'd you see on that Cameron Easy shorty, how that puck got to him? Did you see what it bounced off of? Or? Uh, I don't know. I thought it went off the glass or the the uh, stanchion or whatever that thing. I don't know. Okay. I don't know what they were reviewing. I just all I know is I saw the puck come to him. Somebody said after it might have went off there, and all I know is he made a great move, and that was a huge goal. I think that was, uh, you know, one of those goals that can be very deflating for the other team. Meaningful to make your first frozen face off. Oh well, yeah, we can see what the hell it's about. Um, <laughs> You know, um, but, you know, I'm happy for our seniors. I'm happy for our team. You know what I mean? This is, you know, again, you, you look back a month, month and a half ago, um, you know, our goal was to get there and try and win the tournament. And, you know, we have put ourselves in a position to get there and uh, and do that. So, um, but we had to first beat a very good Miami team, and our guys did that uh, two weekends in a row. And it's not easy to beat uh, any team, certainly, you know, their team, so I'm really proud of our team and, and the effort they put forth uh, here this weekend and you know, actually the last month plus. So hopefully we can keep it going. So uh, you guys have been facing North Dakota down there. I mean, you know, that's where you said eight games ago that it all kind of started with your momentum there. What's the mm -hmm. excitement level in, uh, in getting to face them again? Uh, you know, I, don't, I think our guys are just enjoying this right now. We'll get to work on Monday and, you know, we'll prepare like we do for every weekend. And uh, obviously they're a great team. and. They're a 31 team this year and won the league. And we had two great games with them. Hopefully, it's going to be another great game. But, you know, we'd like the result to be different. But we know that they're playing very well right now, too. And uh, But at this time of the year, you're always going to see good teams. So uh, we're excited to get down there. And we got a chance to, you know, to keep, uh, keep our, our second goal alive, which is to try and win the tournament. Love the way the power play is going into. Minneapolis as well next weekend. Better, you know, better. I mean, obviously, anytime you, you, you know, we scored some goals down the stretch here. I think, uh, you know, we, you know, Andy had a nice goal. Jared made a great play. I mean, they're a hard team. You know, there's a reason their kill is almost at 92. percent They're very aggressive. Um, they don't give you much room, and you got to really know where the puck is going. I thought Jared made a great play on that goal, but uh, you know, and I think, uh, you know, we were we weren't as good on zone entries tonight. Um, it seemed like the puck was bouncing a lot tonight both ways. It just seemed like it was weird, but they do they do a great job, and, and, and they force you to make great plays. And fortunately, we made a great play on, on, on Andy's goal. Where do you think you stand, uh, Sandy, in regard to the uh, making the big turn? I, you know what? Just win games. You know what? We're still playing, and that's the most important thing. Our kids are going to experience that. If we go down there and keep winning games, then that's uh, the, that's the one guarantee, but, you know, uh, we'll just enjoy this, get back to work, and enjoy the fact that we're still playing. Um, Andy, heck of a special teams game tonight. Uh, how do you sum up what you guys were able to do on the, on the penalty kill on the power play? Yeah, it's obviously not something you plan to, to get you know two short-handed goals, but it's uh, obviously with the difference tonight. Um, our power play was was doing good. Um, you know, obviously we got one goal, but. Um, we created a lot of momentum off that. Um, our killers did a good job, uh, did, especially our forwards. Uh, you know, not to say our defense didn't do good on the kill, but our, uh, our, our forwards did a great job helping us and, um, you know, creating opportunities, um, obviously down the ice, and, and we got a couple in the net, so it was huge, obviously. Nice to see a guy like Osterberg get a shorty there with, with all the form checking he does yeah. night in and night out on the PK. It's, it's uh, I think, more surprising that it doesn't happen more often. He, he works hard the entire game, and, um, you know, it's obviously huge for him to get a goal like that and uh, get us started. Uh, scoring the first goal is, is big time in uh, playoff hockey. What does it mean?
to probably get North Dakota in the, in the first round, a, a team where this confidence and momentum kind of started in the team you battled pretty hard in Grand Forks. Uh, I'd like to enjoy this a little bit right now, but uh, no, it's obviously going to be a going to be a short week, and we'll get back to work on Monday. Um, we've we've played good games against that team, and uh, you know, obviously, it'd be uh, pretty nice to get a win against them this time of year. What do it mean to get uh, two goals and two wins in your last uh, two games at Amsoil? Uh, it's uh, it's unbelievable. I think uh, both nights were, were obviously huge team wins, but uh, you know, that's it's uh, you know, credit to everybody else. I I say that a lot, but. Uh, no, I just putting pucks on net, and guys are doing a good job of, of clearing, clearing it out and uh, getting in the goalie's eyes. So I got to give credit to a lot of them. Um, um, but no, it definitely feels great to, to put a couple on that. A little difficult to uh, give that speech to the fans there, and, and then maybe step off the ice for the last time. Yeah, uh, you know, I <laughs> I didn't tear up out there, but uh, no, it's it's obviously uh, you know a little bit bittersweet. Um, played a lot of games here, and it's um, obviously such a great facility and, and great fan group community. Uh, you know, it's it's something very special to, to play in front of those people, and um, you know, for the last time, it's it's obviously tough to have that. But um, it's uh, you know, it's got to come to an end at some point, and I'm very happy that, that we could come out with uh, four wins to close it out here. All right, thanks, Tony. That uh, shorthanded goal you had. Did you see how the puck got to you? I have absolutely no idea. I just <laughs> uh, it was kind of breaking out of the zone, and I saw the puck uh, out in front of me, so I just skated as hard as I could, made a move, and was fortunate to put it in, and. I guess I don't know how I got there. It took a crazy bounce, and it's nice to get a couple of those good bounces uh, lately since, obviously, the beginning of the year we haven't been getting those. Were you trying to get behind the Miami power play on, on that one to, to get in position for uh, a shorthanded goal? It, it kind of all seemed like just a random occurrence of yeah. perfectly bouncing, right? I mean, obviously, the there. fact that it bounced straight at me is obviously not quite planned, but, I mean, I was trying to get out a little bit. Uh, I saw Cars had some time to make a play, and I was trying to get out. And uh, for sure, if he dumped it, at least put some pressure on their D-man and uh, make it a tough breakout. And obviously, the break, uh, the bounce was nice. Uh, yeah, that's about all I can say about that. The two shorties tonight. Was there something you guys saw from last night or the previous few games that said, "Okay, there's going to be a chance for shorties tonight," or was this just two random lucky bounces? You know, it's, you know, you just gotta you gotta work hard on the PK. You know, it's it's tough. Uh, I was, we were fortunate to get some nice bounces. Uh, I was, those are not planned, mm -hmm. but uh, obviously we'll take them, that's yeah. for sure. What's it mean, senior, finally get to that NCHC uh, frozen face off? I, this is the first playoff series when you've had in your career. Right? Yeah, it's a little weird, especially since you're calling me old now, but uh, <laughs> uh, it's nice to get a win on your last time at home ice. Uh, hopefully, you use that to our advantage going into the next weekend. This would be senior class's first trip to. Conference Final Four, right? Yep. What does that mean for you guys to, to finally get there as seniors? That was one of our goals this year was to, to make it there. It's I mean, it was a new league when we came in, would have been sophomore year, yeah. and we haven't been there, so it's, it's going to be a new experience. And for a lot of us, being from the cities, uh, it's something that you want to play in front of your parents and all that. So we're excited, and we'll get back to work uh, next week. I always dreamed of playing hockey at the Target Center as a kid, right? I can't say that. Uh, I watched a few Timberwolves games, that's for sure. But uh, I'm excited for it. It should be a lot of fun. Uh, Kyle, take me through the big short. You've got 91 seconds in. Um, blocked a shot, or not even a shot, really. Uh, went down on the boards, got the puck, and just tried shoveling it in. I saw a little glove, but it went uh, five holes, so that was a lucky bounce for me. It's a good way to start the game, obviously, with, with a goal, but obviously a short, shorthand goal, that's even, it's kind of a sweetener, too. Kind of the story of both shorthanded goals, lucky bounces for you guys tonight? Um, no, I, I mean, obviously, I mean, bounces do come in the game, but I think uh, when you're working hard and you do all the little things right on a penalty kill, obviously you'll get rewarded for it, and I think that's what happened tonight. The special teams, what can you say about it this weekend with three power play goals and two shorties? I mean, obviously, special teams won us games this weekend obviously our power play was top notch even though sometimes it didn't seem but like it but the, they found a way to put the puck in the back of that and then our penalty kill was stellar by uh, shutting down some of the top guys in the league so I think uh, special teams won our won the games this weekend. For the underclassmen what does it mean to finally get this uh, senior group to a you know conference championship weekend? Uh, obviously it feels good I mean those guys have put a lot of blood sweat and tears in uh, this program so uh, Something rewarding like this is obviously good for them, and the, uh, obviously it's kind of an emotional time because it's the last weekend here. But uh, I think uh, we have something good going for us right now, and we just gotta 
do whatever we can and keep on uh, keep on the streak. How about you personally? You ended up, I and mean, I know it was great to get back. You're out for a long time, but you feel like you're at your peak right now. You're playing really well. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I think in the beginning of the year, I was still playing well, but uh, uh, coming now, I got a uh, couple points, which is better to get on the score sheet. Uh, but I think overall, right now, it's uh, just it's good for our team getting getting good wins and uh, playing really well all around, all around the ice. And you know, it's all 26 guys in the locker room that's doing something, not just uh, me or whatever. No, but you when you're when you're playing at your best, you're noticeable every shift. So oh, when you came uh, back, you had to kind of work yeah. to get back to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I, I just try to work hard. Uh, sure. That's that's my main thing. Uh, I mean. I look at the guy who I'm lining up against, and I, I just say to myself, you know, he's not going to beat me in any battle or any puck race. And uh, whenever I can, I uh, try to hit guys, and I just try to get some energy on the bench and get some momentum going our way if it's down or just keep on that momentum if we have it. The rhythm.